Good morning, good to be with you on this Wednesday morning. My name is Tom and I thank you for spending a few minutes with me today. Let's take a look at our statement of faith this week. It comes from the Irish Articles of Religion, an ancient statement of faith. And uh, we're looking specifically at uh, chapters 46 through 48. And these particular passages deal with our, um, our service to God our duty to God, our responsibility to God. Now, I'm sure the first thing that pops into our heads is we think about um, the commandments in the sense of do this and don't do that. And those things are certainly duties that we have to God. But there's kind of a bigger and more basic and more broader picture that Scripture presents to us as persons who put our faith and trust in Christ. We see some things that, have, that, that come out that are real truths in Scripture and the Irish articles pick up on that. And so listen to this statement. Um, Believers in Jesus, what do we believe? Our duty towards God is to believe in him, to fear him, and to love him with all our heart, with all our mind, and with all our soul, and with all our strength, to worship him, and to give him thanks, to put our whole trust in him, to call upon him, to honor his holy name and his word, and to serve him truly all the days of our life. In all our necessities, we ought to have recourse unto God by prayer, assuring ourselves that whatsoever we ask of the Father in the name of his Son, our only mediator and intercessor, Christ Jesus, and according to his will, he will undoubtedly grant it. We ought to prepare our hearts before we pray and understand the things that we ask when we pray, that both our hearts and voices may together sound in the ears of God's majesty. So we hold that there is a duty towards God. Now, it's not something that is going to win our salvation because we don't qualify or merit salvation. Not only that, it's nothing that's going to secure our salvation as if we're saved at the beginning but then not saved later. We're rather saved by our works. No, we understand that uh, that salvation is not a works-based thing. Uh, We are not saved by our ability to keep the law. However, we have a responsibility to God. We nevertheless do. It is a duty to God. It's a calling that God has placed upon the life of all believers. It is a duty to him. And as as believers in Christ, when we gather together as a church, we remind each other of these duties that we have. Now, Scripture, in a lot of places, tells us about this and those very duties that were listed in the, the statements of the Irish Articles. Um, are, are part of a, a broad body of items that we would look at and we would say, yes, those are the kinds of things that really are the duties to God, the way we love God, the way we serve God, the way we, we uh, seek after him. Those are the big items. And the text we're going to look at today is in the Old Testament. It's Jeremiah chapter 9, verses 23 and 24. This is a place where Jeremiah is talking about sin and he's talking about false worship and he's comparing it to what true worship is and true duty of believers looks like. So let's look together. This is Jeremiah chapter nine. Let's look at the text. Our text, Jeremiah chapter nine, verses 23 and 24. This is God's word. This is what the Lord says. Let not the wise man boast of his wisdom or the strong man boast of his strength or the rich man boast of his riches, but let him who boasts boast about this, that he understands and knows me that I am the Lord who exercises kindness, justice, and righteousness on earth. For in these I delight, declares the Lord. We serve God because God calls us to do so. He includes us in what he's doing. He includes us in the work of the kingdom. He has tasks for us to accomplish, to participate in. uh, And we do that because we love him. We do it out of response to him. We do it um, because of the love and the grace and the mercy he has shown us. And so we respond in kind. Uh, This is how we worship. This is how we engage with our lives. This is how we serve God. We serve God because we are responding to him by faith. And we respond to him by seeking to do the things that he has indeed called us to do. God has called us to love him. God has called us to serve him. God has called us to fear him and to follow him. And that is precisely what we are going to do as children of God.